What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Kites. Here's my lovely wife. It's just Alex. What's up, people? Road to 50K. We almost there. And then after 50, we aim for 100. And we all owe it to God and you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. This is the Blind Pineapple, episode two. Let's jump straight into it. There's genuinely nobody like me. I'm rare. You won't really find someone like me. I'm not necessarily practicing <laughs> monogamy. You on the wrong platform, brother. Me and I'm not looking to practice monogamy. How you know? How do I know? Get the Who was that? <sighs> Who was that? He's the goat of Pop the Balloon. I mean, I don't even know what to ask you because you don't like me. I'm too young. It's not it's it <laughs> I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. Sure, so you only like and me because I'm beautiful. Just like I'm beautiful. Yeah, but that's not why I would only like you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability, you right. can't add anything to my life. Welcome <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, no! No, 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 no. No, I'm leaving. Cause the last no, I hurt my, my finger hurts. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Arlette, oh. Arlette, oh. and you try, you came in the scrubs trying to flex. Want two bisexual women who want to be in a relationship with me, want to travel the world, own a bunch of properties, not have any kids, and enjoy life. Dr. Elam and his cousin have returned to mm. the dating scene. Oh, this way. My bad. Mm. Dr. Dang, e you freaking thug. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you there? He's back. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all competing for the same woman again. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Someone gave me a trophy once. <laughs> for the great sex. I've been very fortunate. The, women, the women's been good to me. <laughs> Try to be good to them too. I think I'm looking for like the homie. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm trying to what? find. Hey yo! What's going on? You looking for the homies? Hey yo! No diddy. Baby oil. The <laughs> best friend I can date. Melly, you Welcome have brought to the blind the pineapple. Demon King I am your the host, Melly Monaco. Today <laughs> we are testing if looks really matter or if finding love is truly about connections. I have one beautiful single lady who will date potential suitors, but she will not be able to see them. She'll make her choice based on chemistry alone, and after seeing her suitors for the first time, she will get one last chance to either stick with her pick or this swap. Is crazy the work. one thing that she doesn't know though is that the guy still has to accept her or deny her. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. And uh, today for you, I have Jalen. All right, so today I have Jalen with me. Hey, Jalen. Hey. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. That's good. How was your day? It was good, you know, just, uh, it's hot, so. Um, the summer is here, mm -hmm. and yeah, so I'm trying to sweat out my edges. Yes. <laughs> That's why I don't do mine ever. <laughs> no edges over here. Yeah. Um, okay, so would you like to introduce yourself so people know who you are? Yeah, sure. So, hi, my name is Jaylen. Um, I am a, a massage therapist. Okay. Um, I do a little bit of modeling. I'm actually in school for nursing right now. So that's the whole thing. Um, I'm from Hawaii, uh, black mm. and Samoan. I've been out here for- Oh, that explains why she's so tall and built. She got the best of both worlds, dog. Yeah. Black and Samoan. Y'all super human. That's a, that's, a, that's a devious combination, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. You can probably be able to tell by her, her tattoo though. Bro, that's a crazy combination. Like a while though, um, but I was raised out there. That's chemical um, X. Yeah, I love to play <laughs> volleyball, and um, I just, like love too. to do like active stuff, and I love to travel. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. So you are single. I am. You are. 
Um, so what are you looking for in your men? Tell us some characteristics that really you enjoy. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a man that can bring more to the table um, than just like the table cover. <laughs> what does that mean? What 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 does that mean, Jalen? Because <laughs> what's the basics of the table? <laughs> the leg, the wood, what the nails. Mean, what does it mean, Jalen? What is the table made of? <laughs> the cover. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking for someone that also um, is like-minded, that has some type of a sense of entrepreneurship, um, someone that understands finances, and maybe that has some good credit. Mm -hmm. Good credit. Because <laughs> um, that says a lot about you. <laughs> she give me money when I'm in need. <laughs> Um, someone that like, like likes to travel, someone that is a family man, um, someone that's God fearing, and someone that like you know knows how to put that shit on. Okay. Why do y'all? Why do y'all do that? Y'all be saying I want somebody that's God fearing and also could put that S H I T away. It's like, bro, why do y'all put? Why do y'all always? Whenever y'all put God in y'all conversation, why do y'all immediately have to curse right after? Like, cause they don't mean it. It's just, it's just something to say. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. That sounds good. You say put that shit on? Right. Okay, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's important. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about uh, physical. What, what is something you like? Uh, tall. He gotta How be tall? tall? He got to be taller. I'm 5'11", so he got to be taller than me. Like, literally 6'2 is like, ideally like the minimum, mm -hmm. but like, I'll do like a six. Six one. Six one. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, tall, uh, in shape. Um, someone that like you can tell like they're active. Active. They like to work out. Mm -hmm. Um, someone that has good hygiene. Yes. Someone that's in not just like the way they smell, the breath, but like, you know, like keeps themselves clean and together. Mm -hmm. um, I ain't gonna lie, Doctor Elam won already. He like six four. Yeah. Athletic. Yeah. He a dentist, so he's always clean. Yeah. He got good credit. Yeah. Like, he, he already didn't want this. Like, what was... <laughs> and put that shit on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that part, <laughs> but he, yeah. he already won. <laughs> the theme of the day, put that shit on. Yes. <laughs> You're going to have to talk to them about that to make sure you guys are compatible. You're going to okay. have to. Um, okay, so 6'1 is your preference. You're tall. Yeah. Um, what's the age range for you? Um, so I'm, like, mid to late 20s mm -hmm. right now. So I would say, like... Around there, okay. or like early oh, 30. Get him out, doctor. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> pack it up. You and your cousin he got almost 40, ain't he? Yeah, you and your cousin got to pack it up, man. Well, no, no. Okay. Yeah. That's early the, to mid 30s. Okay, that's the oldest. Yeah. Like 35 is the oldest. Yeah. Man. Okay. Oh, pack it up. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you have kids? Pack him up. Get him out. <laughs> um, maybe like one. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we can do one. Can um, do what else? How much money does he need to make? You know, I'm not super like, I don't really care about that as okay. much. Mm, um, I do, that's what they all like, say. Like, you can't be broke, like, broke. Right, you can't be broke, but like, I, I, I feel like, I feel bad about saying like, oh, you need to make 100K, I'm not making 100K. Mm -hmm. So like, I want to be able to match, you know, you know looking, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, you need to be making this much, and I'm over here, you know, mm -hmm. a student and trying to, like, you know, make ends meet while yes. I'm trying to get by in school. But definitely someone that, like, you know, is doing well for himself, however that may look. Mm -hmm. um, someone that can afford to, like, take care of his bills and, like, have a little extra on the side. Okay. To, like, have fun, maybe travel or, like, go on dates and shit. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right, so I'm going to introduce the guys, and when we're ready for the date, I'll bring you back out. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Man. Hello. Here are the four guys that I have for Jalen. That's her name. Oh, look how high his knees are. I'm looking at all of them. Okay, we got... We got... Freaking... Bucket hat. Nah, he looked like uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what is Tyler Tyler the Creators Group <laughs> Wolf Gang <laughs> uh, Wolf Pack. Mm. 
Then uh, we got this dude. I don't know what's up with. I don't know what's going on. I don't I know what's going on, on with this. You yeah, throw he some just easy's on. And you just throw anything yeah, else. Yeah, I don't know you. what's going on with this fit. He got blue, white, black, white, some type of brown blue with easy's or something with a green and white hat. Like this is a this is this is a GTA character, right? This dude is a casual college student. This is a GTA character. We <laughs> yes. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Two, oh, two. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You guys seem shy. I don't know. Is, is it? <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Yeah. yeah. You're nervous? Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. a little bit. What the? I'm not nervous. Okay. I bet we you, know you're we not. We know you're not. Okay. <laughs> She's hella cool, so you guys shouldn't be nervous. Okay. So I uh, I would like you to introduce yourself. I, I, we'll go in order. Sure. Sure. So if you want to tell me name, height, age, where you're from, and what you do. Uh, my name is Elam. I <laughs> am 6'6". Six, six. I am from Dallas, Texas. And I'm a traveling dentist. Oh, nice. OK. You didn't say doctor. My name's Adam. I am 6'2". I'm from Boston. And I'm a creative producer. Nice. Um, Elam and I'm six feet from Long Beach, California, hey. and I'm a teacher. Okay. Yeah. You guys don't want to tell your age. Nobody has to oh, say their oh. age, right? Oh, I forgot my about bad. that. I'm hey, you from California? This is not what we wear, gang. What you? What are you doing? They didn't even show the last dude. It's okay. I'm 39. 39? I'm 31. Okay. 33. Okay. 24. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Oh. Ali, Where are you from? Um, I'm from Long Beach, California. Uh, I work at UPS. And um, my height, yeah, six foot, like on the line. On the line. <laughs> on the line, yeah. Okay. It's got there. Yeah, you oh. can tell you from California, he's on the line. <laughs> I'm on the line. Um, so uh, all of you are single? Pork. Yes. Pork. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Nobody got a hidden wife, <laughs> hidden girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, hey, you could work for some women, so so I don't know. You know, I'm bad. It's just risky. Like, we on camera, like... Uh, oh, you can't tell. <laughs> you, okay, okay, I hear you. Okay. All right, so since you're all single, uh -huh. uh, what are you looking for? Like, right now, as far as dating, you want a partner, a wife, just a girlfriend, just somebody for fun? I've, I've been, uh, like, a serial monogamous for most of my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm open to a lot now at this point, since monogamy hasn't really worked. Oh, okay. So you want to <laughs> switch it up? Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, I mean, you know what I mean. Wanna... We, we watched it. He wants two bisexual women. That is what he said. He wants two bisexual women who are not who are fine with not being married, but being a part of a unification. Uh, be a whore? You, you, you wanna? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's an option. Uh, um, maybe uh, you might try polygamy. That's another option. Okay. I don't know. Sure, sure. I'm open to having a conversation about it. How about that? Okay, okay. Because. Cool. Uh, ultimately, if you are chill, you're relaxed, you have ambition, you understand yourself, you're emotionally intelligent, mm -hmm. then we can we can work together. No, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, like I like Elam. Um, I also was a serial monogamous as well, um, so what? I date non monogamously. Um, so I date multiple women. Why are y'all wait, 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 Why are y'all attaching serial monogamous? Like what? Like it's Bro, an offense. Just say you were just <laughs> you dated. <laughs> You dated one person. You were you were biblically normal, like, because I can't even say normal because somebody gonna be offended. Well, you know, this ain't the channel for y'all. This is a Christian based channel. Go ahead, do your thing. But uh, you were biblically normal. You believed in you were you were one man trying to date a woman. That's it. Y'all acted serial monogamous, adventuristic polygamous. Like, it's like what are y'all doing, bro? Just say you you just been doing the one on one dating now. Oh, yeah. oh wow! Oh, I want to know. <laughs> family, man, and the whole family pla practicing polygamy? Like, what's up? That might be the way to go. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's the future. Uh, okay. Yeah. How long you been doing it? About a year and a half. And it's working. Well, you, oh, you know, there's ups and downs, but there's ups and downs with monogamy as well. Okay. <laughs> you said, hey, hey, look, look, yeah. cuzzo. You know, we gonna part, date lesbians. It's been enjoyable. Okay, cool. Yeah. What about you? 
Yeah, I never really you tried polygamy me. like that. Um, <laughs> okay. But, you know, teach his own. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think I'm just looking for someone to build with. Um, I definitely have a lot of goals, and I think we have the same common uh, goals that we can, uh, you know, just build something and like form an empire. Okay. You know, cool. typical love story. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for. Well, I've done polygamy, and yeah, no, it's dope. Dang, it's what dope. the freak uh, going on? Wow. To um. <laughs> Having two just to to go to like it's like you feel me it's two different having chocolate and strawberry you know mm -hmm. so and I, I'm a person that likes freak. options so like having sometimes I don't feel like chocolate so strawberry Amazing. sometimes Amazing. I don't feel like yeah. strawberry oh, so yeah I see what you're in that you sense, got two different it's really dope um, I think I'm looking for uh -huh. but monogamy is cool too so I can do you know either or. Uh, I'm just thinking like having to deal for a man having to deal with two women. I was yeah, raised by women, like, so it's like uh, it was. It's not. It's not too different. Okay. You feel me? I'm used to having women around. So. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's cool. Um, oh lord. I think I'm looking <laughs> for like the homie. I'm not gonna hold you. Like. I'm looking for the homies. Yeah, you probably should have uh, stayed in Long Beach. Maybe Artesia Boulevard. You probably find some people. Not Boulevard. <laughs> Boulevard. I'm looking for the homies. I'm not like. I need. The, our conversation, what we talk about, or like, just we need to be here. Like, we need to be okay. like best Locking. friends. Like, I'm trying to find a best friend I can date, pretty much. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Right. So if that ends up a wife or whatever, then cool. But for the most part, the homie. Okay. I'm looking for the homies. <laughs> I'm looking yeah. for the homie. All right. Well, um, for, so it's, it's, I'm gonna know. bring Jalen. And then you guys can start dating. You can pick whoever goes first or whatever order you want. Um, just so you know, at the end, you know, when she does the reveal, she will, I will bring her blindfolded. She will make her decision. And then she will take the, the blindfold off and, and see who she picked. Cool. If she feels like you're not really her cup of tea, she has the option to, to swap. And, um, but at the end of the day, the decision is on you. Even if she swapped or didn't, if you guys are not feeling her, you can say, I'm cool. Okay. I don't need to go on a date with you, mm. you know? So that's what we're gonna do. Yes, we are. All right, cool. Well, thank you. I'm curious which version of Dr. Elon we about to get. Oh, he... Cool. I know what version. All right, so Jeline, I have to your himself. first date. Hello, Ali. What's up? Yes. <laughs> you guys can talk. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's good, Jalen? <laughs> how how are you today? Like, you have a good day today? Is, well, how's it going so far? Yeah, it's going good. It's just hot, but you know, it's summer, so that's. Yeah, no, it makes sense. You feel me? Mm -hmm. How's yours? It's supposed to be hot. It's cool. Um, this is kind of crazy. Uh, ain't never <laughs> yeah. like done nothing. Ever since you made that that button down comment, oh, you could tell he from Long Beach. You could tell he from LA. Cause I was just like, wait a minute. I'm telling you, that's the that's the that's the you know how in Naruto all the all the uh, the adult ninjas wear the, the bulletproof vest, the little shinobi garb. That's the LA. That's the LA. Vest. That's the LA shinobi garb, right? Been like this before, so you know this is wild. Um, right. But we here. You feel me? We here. Uh, yeah, no, I don't even know how to... What's your favorite color? Green. Green, why green? Um, I don't know, I feel like it's a symbol of life. I like okay. green, that's my favorite color too. Okay, I feel you. Second, second favorite color? Blue. Okay, why blue? Um... Because I like the beach, and I like the water, and the ocean's blue. And the sky is blue, and yeah, I don't know. I feel like green and blue no, just go well together. Got you, green and blue. Mm -hmm. So, do you have your favorite colors on right now? Um, one of them, yeah. One of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I guess? Sure. Um, green. Yeah. Okay, dope. Dope. All right. I'm, 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 I'm she, not... she not giving him nothing to work with. 
No. Nice. I'm kind of nice. <laughs> What's your favorite color? My favorite color is uh, is blue. Um, why blue? What'd you say? I said why blue. Because Crip. No, I'm playing. Oh, you a thug. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And you said it on lot. Don't look at me. What's wrong? Why are you sizing me up? Looking at me with disgust. What's wrong with you? That's all you just looked at me? What's wrong with you? This not my favorite color. I'm just saying. Same place. You know? I know you're not talking. Look what you got on. Okay, I'm from the valley. It don't matter. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm we ain't rocking purple uh, out here. Where are you from? <laughs> from the valley. Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, That's interesting. Why. All right, watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> watch, uh, watch your mouth, gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop talking like that. You know what y'all do. Let's talk about what y'all do. <laughs> Let's talk about what y'all do. on business. Locked in. Yeah, in prison, too. Uh, That's fine. Where are you from? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, Hawaii. interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Okay. The opposite end of the country. I heard people be like hella mad over there. They're you, mad? Yeah. You, what did you say about Boston? <laughs> people be real mad over there. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. But, you know, there's still like a sense of brotherly love out there. Okay. Yeah. I just have a few questions for you. Okay. okay. Um, what's the most like terrible thing you've done to hurt someone? Dang. Dang. Oh. To hurt someone? Yes. I lied to them. Mm. So you be lying? Yeah, it was a white lie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's the what's the first thing that attracts you in a man? Height. Mm. Height? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so uh, Jalen, I have Elam for you. The last day she'll ever be up. No, I'm just... <laughs> okay. What was the name again? Elam. Elam? Elam? Elam, yeah. Elam. Okay, how do you spell that? E-L-O-M. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, do you live alone? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, I have two places. I have a place here in L.A. that I live alone with, but I travel for work, so I have a place in Phoenix that I rent with my cousin. Phoenix. You see? You see? He, he doing it. Okay. He's selling himself. He he's selling himself. He in Phoenix. And so now, now I know how you converted your cousin uh, to uh, polygamy. Y'all live together in Phoenix. <laughs> Y'all been having freak offs. Hey, man. <laughs> Y'all been having freak offs. That's, that's deep. Um, what are you doing? I'm a traveling dentist. Okay. Let's say you own a dental practice and you have a patient that comes in who needs their wisdom teeth out or an implant or a full mouth reconstruction. You don't feel like doing it. Hey, Dr. Elam, can you come on? Friday of next month, and I'll fly in on Thursday, work all day Friday, and then fly out on Saturday. And mm -hmm. I do that in LA, Phoenix, Humboldt, um, San Francisco, for now. What's your favorite? Hey, I know we be joking a lot with the Elam content, but one thing one thing we will never do, uh, we you gotta respect the craft. We give credit where credit's due. He doing something that, hey, I respect it. Because at the end of the day, one, you got to go to years and years of school for that. Being a doctor, a dentist, anything in the medical medical field, I don't care if you're just a, 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 a nurse, nurse assistant, it don't matter. I give respect to anybody in these fields because y'all went to school for it. I don't even have the patience to finish my own degree. You feel what I'm saying? So I give respect to where respect due. All jokes aside, good job on him. He doing his thing, bro. Favorite movie? Don't judge me, but I'm not gonna, yeah, no judgments, no judgments. <laughs> hit, hit me with it, hit me with it. What's your favorite movie? White chicks. Oh wow, uh, that's a good movie. Uh, uh, it can go way like down to yes. What somebody tell you this was an all white party? Oh, get this jigaboo up out of my face. <laughs> he said, "You're not, you're not." Yeah, I'm not a woman. You're not white. Just <laughs> laughing. Just laughing. So funny. Um. You what? What do you think about uh, polygamy? Oh, who you asking first? Her, oh, you. ladies first. I'm, oh, I'm asking first? you. Me first. Yes. Um, he got too excited for that. What's wrong with you? Um, um, 
I'm, I'm open to anything, man. Polygamy, cool. Uh, I know that uh, people think that two at a time can be a lot to deal with, but I was raised by women in this particular case, so I'm used to a lot of women around, so, you know, two is really not that big of a deal. And it's cool, because, you, you know, you get two different that. people, so it's like two different books to read. But monogamy is also cool, so. Okay. Jamie, mm -hmm. what do you think? Um, you know, I used to be open to polygamy, but I just feel like it just, it's a lot going on. It's just too much. No, I feel you. <laughs> um, I'd rather just have to get to know one person and just deal with them and like their shit. Mm hmm As mm -hmm. opposed to like two people. Like, I just don't think that my mental can handle all that at right. once. I really know, fair, fair. It's a lot going on. That date is going stale. Okay, mm -hmm. Jaden, you kept on saying in your intro that he needs to, <laughs> put, that <shit> <laughs> to uh, put that shit on. When I was yeah. asking her what she likes about men, she was like giving me stuff. But then at the end of every sentence, he needs to put that shit on. Would you like to explain what you mean? You know, like when you step out, like you have that shit on. Like, oh, I know exactly what she means. Right. I know, yeah, no, I got her. I got her. Uh, I would say. I would say I have that particular shit on. Um, <laughs> what? What? We have so many. We have so many unique words in the human language to describe so many things, and we just go all the way back to unga bunga. Like I just don't. I don't. I don't understand it, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't. I didn't come looking busted. You feel me? Uh, I would say I got that shit on. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe not like we. If you if, okay, so when you hear a nigga say that in their head, like you think uh, you probably get a particular fit in your head. I probably don't have on that particular fit you got in your head, but I do have that shit on though. Okay. In your closet? <laughs> no, on. Oh, right now. Okay. <laughs> um, do you live in the LA area, or are you still live in yeah, Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. I live in the LA area. Dope, dope, mm -hmm. dope. How long you been out here? Um, oof, like ten years. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Um, how long have you been out here? So I actually don't live out here. <laughs> oh, you see? Wow. Yeah, I, I live in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, you know, it's 115 degrees in the summertime, so I spend my summer someplace else. Nice. Okay. So are you so now I guess, I guess that means uh, him and his match never worked out. <laughs> yeah, because didn't he walk off with, Ka he walked off with Kayla, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously it didn't work out because yes. she was on the yeah, other she was on the other so I wish we would have had that follow up. Are you open to a long distance <laughs> relationship? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty flexible. Um I think right now I just somewhat recently got out of a long term relationship, so mm -hmm. I'm in a phase where I'm dating. So um, wait, wait, wait. Somewhat recently got out of a long term relationship, but you just did that pop the balloon. Has it? It hasn't even been a full year. No, it hasn't. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We might got a fraud. Hold on. Hold up. It might have not been with Kayla, though. It's right. That's what I'm saying. Else. So, yeah, he just said a long term relationship. Long term means over a year, right? Mm. Kayla, hold on, y'all. Hold on. We might got a fraud. Hold up. Yeah, we way down there. We way back there. Hold up. Because we only start circulating in February. Yup. Six months ago. I don't know. Long-term relationship is like a year. So you were on this show six months ago. He could already been dating somebody while he was on the show. Right. You, you know went on the show while you were already in a relationship. Unless pe it just depends how people. I don't know. Some people say well, six months is long term. I don't think six months is long term at all. Long term is a year. But I'm a long. Oh, now, I just somewhat recently got out of a long term relationship, so mm -hmm. I'm in a phase where I'm dating. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I date different term, people. Short, short term and years. Okay, here we go. Cause you playing, you tap dancing. I'm not tap dancing. Uh, 
Long-term relationship means a relationship that has continued to the exclusion of any other relationship for a period of at least two years. Okay. Okay. Um, they live sometimes in the, the cities that I'm in or they will live someplace else, so I'm, I'm flexible. All righty. Yeah. Uh, so are you seriously dating these people? Mm -hmm. Am I seriously dating these people? Yes. Is it like, because you say you're dating several people, which is mm -hmm. fine when you're dating, but it's like, is it kind of like different long-term relationships kind of, or is just dating? Um, well, I think I have like a different, uh, I guess, philosophy on relationships these days where um, the people that I date, if they end up being in my life for forever, that that's great. Like, I, I really enjoy it. But as far as like, I guess the typical idea of like serious versus non-serious, uh, it's not. That's not how I kind of think about relationships right now because I'm, I'm not necessarily practicing monogamy and I'm not looking to practice monogamy at this current stage of my life. <laughs> so, you, um, so do you still talk to your ex? I do not. No. Okay. No, I do not. But like, so say you had a girlfriend. Uh -huh. um, would you, do you? Would you have her around the girls that you've dated that you're like still cool with though? Oh, if I got, if I decided to get in another monogamous relationship, would I have her around girls that I've dated in the past? Yeah. Um, Cause you guys are friends now. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely would, you know, or like, you know, it's. <laughs> you a I think brave man. My, my mindset is that everyone's. You a brave man. Bro, do y'all, like, even just listening to how it sounds, I understand there's people that practice polygamy. Y'all do y'all thing. I don't, I'm not going to judge. At the end of the day, only God going to really judge you. But, like, do y'all hear how it sounds when y'all are trying to convince other people to, like, be on board? Like, you telling me I'm about to be around girls you didn't have relationships with? He didn't fully answer the question either. Yeah, it's just like, it sound like, it sound like, like a cult. I'm not even gonna cat with you. It sounds this sounds like a cult to me in my mindset because this is like, like, all right. would you know, or like you know it's. I think my my mindset is that everyone's adults, right? Like if me and my partner, who's now my girlfriend, have an exclusive relationship, then the people that I used to date have to understand and respect that. If they don't, then we can have a, an adult conversation about that. And if they violate, you know, any boundaries that I've put up then, you know, that tells that tells me a lot about how they view our friendship. What? I'm actually in school for nursing. So. Oh, what? why nursing? Um, well, I want to be a nurse practitioner. I want to do a sports medicine. So um, I just like healing people. So right, currently I'm a massage therapist. So I just like to, um, I know I like to help people feel better. If there's like a problem, I like to like try to solve it. Um, so people can have a better quality of life, like, you know. Then why are you single? <laughs> <laughs> why are you single? Well, we know we know why, but... Thug. Why are you single? He, he, he about to do his therapist thing oh. right now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the frick was that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> and then I told, and then I told Jenkins, get the yard. <laughs> Doctor Elam, you trying to take my wife out, man? <laughs> you okay, BB? <baby? clears throat> I don't got no water. <laughs> I'm sorry. Photosynthesis. <laughs> Photo synthesis. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it with the pinky, though. Come on, y'all. I'm just picking you. Shorty. I said, I guess I'm just picking you. A little bit You're of picky. the. You say. <laughs> what are you looking for? That's so hard to find. Divine. You know, there's the a lot of things that's hard to find out here. Um, <laughs> Selling Candy Crush. <laughs> well, what am I looking for? I think in LA, it's it hard, hard to find genuine 
people. Maybe that's everywhere. That, that are transparent. That's everywhere. That are like, that just like, that are fun and that like genuinely, like when I say genuine, it means like they're showing you who they are mm -hmm. without it being like another side to them that like you later find out. And um, I know everyone has their things, but I feel like in LA people are they trying to like front. use you to like get where they want to go. So they're not like giving you their genuine self. I was just gonna say that I think LA does carry that vibe because everyone's trying to be something. I'm sorry to be like so random with this, but have you ever faked an orgasm? What, what the f Oh, these are her questions. Oh, okay. How do, oh, I, well, I know how, but like, <laughs> yo, I don't want to hear it. Oh, no. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> really? Okay. The, women, the women's been good to me. <laughs> Try to be good to them, too. Um, Wait, what, do you... what does it mean? <laughs> hmm? What does it mean? So it's never been trash or? Yeah, never been trash. Never been trash? No. Oh, that's the first. <laughs> you never had trash. No, I've been very fortunate. Anyway. Wow. Hey, Melly, wow. Hey, you already know, Melly a freak. Just how she was talking in the last video. She a freak. Well, I know. <laughs> That's the premise of the channel stuff, but... Yeah. The bar's low. Yeah. <laughs> she took it out. I mean, I don't know if it's low. Or maybe it's high and you got to perform now. But he have not had bad, so he wouldn't know what bad is. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what bad is? No, I mean, not really. <laughs> okay. All right, I have I have a really important question for me. <laughs> um, what is what is your thoughts around uh, safe sex and sexual health? And when was the last time you were tested? Mm -hmm. Um, I yeah, I feel like safe sex is the best sex. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when you trust someone, mm -hmm. um, that you you know. After a while, you start to trust, then you have a conversation of like, oh, like, do we want to, you know, be unprotected mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at this point? Um, I've got, I got tested in March. Love that. So, yeah. Um, Love that. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Safe sex is very important to me. Um, I personally get tested every three months. Okay. Um, I am committed to wearing condoms with my partners. Um, okay. Again, if we get to know each other, as you said, and we decided to have unprotected sex, then we'll, you know, practice some form of birth control. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think that safe sex is, as you put it, is the best form of sex because it takes a lot of the anxieties away, you know? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it's, it doesn't feel the best. But yes, yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But you can't have it all. But, <laughs> right. Mentally, like, you feel like, okay, I'm, I'm safe. But also, like, stuff can happen. So, yeah, stuff can um, still happen. I am on birth control. I happen to, so I feel like that's an extra added level of like um, security for me. Yeah. Um, but as far as like STDs and all those things, mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah, definitely, safe sex helps. Uh, protect from that for sure. I better listen. I love that. I love uh, that. When was the last time you had sex? Um, last oh, month. Dang, dang, what the dang? <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, people be outside. Early last month. Okay. I, yeah, I haven't had sex in like a few weeks. Yeah. You said two weeks? Few weeks. Uh, maybe like three. Uh -huh. Almost, almost a month now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So almost a month ago. Yeah, almost a month. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I I'm getting myself. it in, I guess. <laughs> it's the <sticky. Finish. laughs> What's up with y'all um. laughs? I told y'all that whole family super villains, dog. It's god dang Orochi Maru and Kabuto on the same team. Been a couple Twice. weeks. Okay. Look, look, no judgment here. There is no judgment over here. <laughs> it could it could be yesterday. She said I really, she said no a couple uh, weeks. Been a couple weeks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, no judgment here. There is no judgment over here. <laughs> it could it could be yesterday. yesterday I really I it, it don't matter. It it's no judgment. Yes. No, but it wasn't yesterday though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect it. Go ahead. Have your fun. 
<laughs> so as long as you're doing the same. Um, you know what I never understood about people that that be like just having sex with on the whim or with people that they just like oh that casual sexers. Uh, y'all be y'all be doing this casually with people that y'all have no intention of building a relationship with, but then y'all get in a relationship and expect y'all partners to be like, you know, to wait. Like y'all get relationships and be like, oh yeah, now that we're dating, I don't want us to go be intimate until you know we get ready to be engaged and stuff like that. But then it's like, okay, I gotta wait a year for this, but you just gave your homie Jonathan in your phone. Y'all just had sex two weeks ago, but you had no in- like. I don't. I never understood that. I believe that people shouldn't be doing it to begin with. You should be having sex when you get married. That's just how I am. I'm Bible belt. But I just I do understand why a lot of dudes be like, man. I can't wait six months for this girl because I got to get it because I need to know. Because at the end of the day, some of y'all females, y'all will have sex with a dude two weeks and then tell your your, your main dude he got to wait a year. You're celibate now. You're, you're celibate, but you weren't celibate two weeks ago. Like, that crap is weird, man. What is your biggest deal breaker? Uh, my biggest deal breaker is someone who um, tries to force me to be something for them or try to change me. Like, I, I don't think it's... I think it's really, it's not healthy for couples to um, do that, in my opinion. Like, I think it's, it's really important to, if you're going to get into a relationship with people, to just, you know, accept them for who they are and figure out how you can, how you guys can, like, create an agreement that works for both of you. Um, and if it doesn't, walk away. That's it. Mm-hmm. All right. How about you? I'm my deal breaker. I would say, like, a liar. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of that happening. People lie about the smallest things. Smallest things, yep. And it turns into big things, and it's just like, yeah, that's not a way to live life. So I would say that. If your mom didn't like me, would you still be with me if we were together? Mm, No. My mom is very, um, (laughs) she's very, uh, just, she knows me, and she knows when I'm not with the right person. Okay, I respect that. When when was your last relationship, and do you still talk to them? Um, no, and 2021. Okay. okay. some time there. Pandemic. Yeah. Oh, are you, what if she t- still talk to one of our exes? Is that a deal breaker for you, or? Yeah, yeah, that'd be a deal breaker for me. Okay. Y'all, deal breaker. Have you, st- why are y'all still talking to y'all exes? They X'd out for a reason. You know what an X is? When you put it over something, you cross it out. It's gone. Boom. It's an X. You're not supposed to be able to look at it no more. You crossed it out. Yeah. Y'all get y'all be having 85 X's in y'all phone and it be wondering why, like, every time they talk to y'all, they try to push the narrative or get close back with you. And then y'all got the nerve to be talking to your homies or talking to people, talking about some, I can't stand my ex. He keeps bugging me. He not blocked? You left the door open for communication. Because sometimes I feel like sometimes people genuinely want to keep their exes around as like rebounds. Yep. No, you said it. Have you ever been cheated on? Yes. Have you ever cheated? No. Okay. Sorry to happen to you. You say you don't want to take care she of children that are not yours, or you don't want children at all? That's a great question. I didn't specify, did I? No. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> what? Of course. <laughs> we don't want liars. <laughs> I hate it when people say that, too. I'm going to be honest. Like, well, what were exactly. you being before? Yeah. Uh, I have more. a mastectomy. Oh, oh. So uh, wow. I am not going to have any accidents. <laughs> I, if I, and I, I told myself if I, if I come to a place where I really, really want kids, then I'll just get it reversed. But I haven't come to that place yet. So the percentage I guess is so if there low were that it'll actually be successful, though. That would be it. But emotional unintelligence is also huge. Are, do you, have you, do you have a therapist? I did, but some things happened with my insurance and um, I, they don't cover the therapy anymore. <clears throat> that's a deal breaker for you? No, it's not a deal breaker, but I mean, if I have to pay for your therapist, then that's fine. Uh, that's, okay, that's a bar. <laughs> that's a bar. So she got it in therapy. Hey, some people will find that as an insult. I think that's a bar. If I got to pay for your therapist, I'll get you a therapist. You're going to talk to somebody.
or if you ain't, if you can't find a therapist, uh, we need to find a church where you can you can be on uh, the sisters board or something. That way you can have somebody to talk to because you're not finna talk to your ratchet club going friends about our relationship status because they're going to tell you everything you're not supposed to do because they unhappy in their life and single people keep people single. Issues with you. Well, if we're going to be together, I prefer having at least couples <laughs> therapy. I have a therapist. I don't see as much anymore <laughs> since I've done so many years of it, but yes, therapy is a, um, a must. We need to be able to regulate our actions around our emotions. People say, oh, you need to be able to regulate your emotions. No, you can't regulate your emotions. They're going to be what they're going to be. But if you can have tools and resources in your life that can help you regulate your actions around your emotions, then we can work together. I just need someone who I can I work like with. Can I work with you? Can we cultivate? Can we build something together? And being able to regulate your emotions through difficult times, through tragedy, through past traumas, it's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, Jane. It's because it, it, every conversation with him is a TED talk. And that's, he, it, it he gets, said, it, what you think about He be right though, sometimes. The, I can't hold him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. It's okay to have an ugly laugh. I got an ugly laugh, bro. It's all good. I got many of them. The beautiful thing about an ugly laugh is it's supposed to be laughter. So if people laugh at your laugh, that's just funny all the same. Your hey. laughter brings laughter to other people. That's a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be, did you just did you just poet clap that's crazy um, <laughs> that's that would be that could be a uh, conversation <laughs> off camera <laughs> if we make it off camera <laughs> it's like Chris like creepy Riz <laughs> you want to talk off stream <laughs> yes <laughs> um, alright so you just finished your Four dates. Yes, I did. What did you think? Um, so date number interesting. one. Interesting. Okay, number one, really cool personality. I feel like we could have good conversation okay. and like we could really be like cool. cool. Like, um, yeah. He said he was like six feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I me. Mean, so I don't know. But yeah, he was he was cool. He was, he was a cool person. Okay. Yeah. What about Mitch? Date number two. Date number two, Mitch seeing more. He was like intriguing. Okay. Like he was chill, like cool, chill vibe. Yes, sir. Um, I yeah, I feel like you know, like he seems like someone that I could like talk to. Talk to. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um. What about uh, Idam? Oh no, it's a no for me. It's a no. It's a no. For Why? Me. It was just too many red flags. Like what? Like the the girlfriend thing? The girl, I, I don't like, know. He lost well, he me. was like, "Well, I'm not doing. Well, not, I'm not. Uh, I'm. It was just. He he said a lot of what he's not doing, and that did not reside. That did not re relate to anything that I'm doing. That you want. Yeah. So, yeah. I just so feel like we like wouldn't. Like do We're not on the same page. Okay, I think she's the gonna pick polygamy you. thing that he's doing. The yeah. dating multiple right now yeah. and. Um, the girlfriend. So I don't know what the girlfriend. <laughs> I, I don't know if I misheard and then I was lost. But I, you did I don't not know. miss here. So I was just he said he don't talk to his exes. At the end, he said he doesn't said. talk to right. But he said he's friends with girls he's he's dated so that they could have had sex. Mm. And so and, and you're, you're comfortable with, with me oh. meeting people you've been intimate with. Right. That's like, he's like a, hey, that, was that part. That's oh no. that part. Then you talking about we need to have a conversation because we're all adults. What do I need to have a conversation with her for? <laughs> Why you bringing back your, 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 that was your spaghetti two weeks ago. Why, I'm supposed to be your steak. Why are you bringing the spaghetti back in the room so we can eat it together? Like, no, bro. No, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I, I would love her, but hey. No. <laughs> yeah, work out. Now you're here. I, like, I, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. So for you, it would be a deal breaker, a guy that keeps on talking to his exes. Yes, I don't, I don't know. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. That should be and a deal breaker for everybody. Do the same. Stop talking when to your exes. With your exes, it's done. It's done. All right, good. Yeah. Elam, um, the, the dentist. The dentist. Yeah, uh, he was cool. Um, like you better have good teeth, cause okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, he was cool, but like, um, the no kids thing. I don't know what it is about how Elam looked. He just looked bad. Like he, like he looked like he looked like if you ran into him at the store, he would cut in front of you and then try to gaslight you for the <laughs> fact that he cut in front of you. And it's like he's those type of people that like after y'all get done with y'all argument, when you start to walk away, you he'll try on to, life. Nah, he'll try to say something like intellectual as you're walking away, like. Yes, brother. Now go seek yourself with some. You feel me? Yeah. To like try to get the last word in, and like the only way you can make him stop talking, y'all gotta run a fade. And I just feel like I don't. I don't know why he gave me that impression that you gotta fight him. Otherwise, you like I don't know. It's uh, like a little concerning. I don't know because why can't? Why don't you want to raise uh, mm -hmm. like a person like that you created? <sighs> yeah. Um, and then. He, and then saying no accident, <laughs> I'm like, you know, you can use condoms. Yeah. Uh, pills that means for the girl. He doesn't like, use condoms. I'm a little concerned. Oh, that is true because he don't need them. <laughs> well, he need He's them, a but doctor, he don't. Though. I don't know. He's a dentist. <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay. So, think a little bit about what you, who you liked, oh, and then if when you see him, you don't like him with this pineapple, you can still switch. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so you guys had the dates. Yeah. Yeah. I think they all were fun and so different. So I want to hear what you guys think. You can go first. <laughs> I I I thought she was charming. Charming. Okay. What was charming about her? Uh, she seemed sweet. She seemed like she knew what she wanted. Mm -hmm. She seemed safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. She seemed nurturing in her gait and demeanor. Okay, cool. I appreciated that. Okay. Mm. Nice. Bro, he's... He is such a... He, bro, <laughs> like, when he talks in, like, the low, I think she was charming, sweet, innocent. He NPC. Bro, it's just... It's not, it's not it's real. MP, it's NPC dialogue. It's not how he really talks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, for me, I, I, I feel like, you know, her and I caught a vibe, like, somewhere towards the middle of the conversation. Oh. Um, I think vibe. some of our values seem to... Somewhat aligned, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and overall, like you said, really sweet, really, really sweet, chill vibe, and I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, yeah she was very, very open, uh, intrigued, inquisitive. Uh, she seemed smart and mature too, so mm -hmm. um, felt like a smooth, smooth conversation. Nice. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it credit where it's due. To their defense, that girl. Uh, she was not very engaging at all. Like, <laughs> no, I feel like she's probably used to men, like doing all the talking. Yeah, yeah. That's she, why was, she was just sitting there. She was not engaging at all. I'm not even gonna count mm. with you. What about you, Ali? Yeah, no, nah, it was uh, it was cool, man. She, uh, her favorite colors, why she liked them, liked her, <laughs> liked her answers, um, her favorite movie. You know, uh, it's a funny movie, man. So. Um, <laughs> I feel like uh, it's hard to get to know somebody, you know, completely in 10 minutes or like to e even well in 10 minutes. But yeah. I think what I did, what I, what I got to hear and what I got to know, I was cool with it. Okay. I was cool, yeah. She seemed, she seemed like a, a gentle person. Mm -hmm. Nice. So all of you would go on a second date with her if she picks you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah? yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Me, she's like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I just got to... Oh, yeah. you got to you gotta gotta see. see. Yeah, gotta oh, see. Oh, so you got to yeah. see how gotta she looks. put the looks. voice to the face. Is that going to play a big part of... For sure. How, how do you think she looks from her voice? Healthy. Healthy. That's a great answer. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's hard to say. Great answer. To say. <laughs> <laughs> What's healthy? Yeah, healthy meaning she works out, she's in shape. Um, yeah, it seems like she cares about herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... I get the vibe that she has certain levels of discipline, mm -hmm. uh, good habits, uh, certain boundaries and, and standards for herself, okay. which is important, which okay. you, know, you need. Cool. She don't sound small. Yeah. Like in, in height or height. in weight? Okay, height. Like in height. You know, she doesn't sound like a small person. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes you can be <laughs> deceiving on the No, no, the facts. Telephone. You're right. I'm, be... I'm saying just how it, how it hit the ear. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. She just don't sound... She looks like a small person. Because if I close yeah. my eyes and try to get a sense of how big Melly was, I don't know if I could do it. 
to oh. see them tall. That's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I don't mm. know. Nah, I feel like here, yeah, hearing Melly voice on the phone. Well, I met her before, but like hearing her, like if I had to hear it, and then like if I had to guess the height, like. I feel like I get around there. Like, yeah, no, she don't. I get what sound he, no, good. I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. It's because uh like bigger people, taller people, there are like octaves of like that's why when we were watching that pop the balloon mm-hmm. and we saw all those smaller women came out and they had booming powerful voices, mm-hmm. I was like, I was not expecting that. Yeah. It's because most most people out here in Cali, the smaller people, they're either high pitched squeaky voices mm-hmm. or they're uh like those like uh like really quiet, shy voices. Like only rarely do you see a short girl in California, a really short girl that got like a really like, like m- like phone operator voice. You feel what I'm saying? It just depends. It all like it does depend where you're from too. Because yeah. the the girl in the red dress from Tippendale's video, I I predicted her voice to sound like that. Mm. Okay. Huge. She sound like she probably like five five. That's all lady. Yeah, I'm six feet. Six feet. <laughs> <laughs> You're six feet. Uh, yes, talking about five five. Well, I'd have been close. That's like I'm your height. What? Uh, Melly's like six, six, six feet with or without the heels. Without. Without the heels, six. Yes. Feet. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> well, then that just blows a hole through my theory. Yeah. <laughs> but, she, but I stand by it though. She don't sound small. Yeah. I don't know why I say that, but I know what I mean when I say it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go grab her. She's You're gonna, gonna bring come. her here? Yes. We're gonna see her? Uh, of course. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Oh, you see. Oh, okay. Good. I'm holding it. Okay. Good. Don't be looking. <laughs> Uh, uh, Lee saw that face. Y'all yeah. saw it. Y'all saw the <laughs> face. Right here. Yeah. Oh, you see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm holding it. Okay. <laughs> Y'all gotta remember, Elam like the petite ones, bro. Yeah. He like his petite. Look. He's... Look at that. That face tells a lot. See him. He a freak. His cousin's a freak. He don't care what type of woman he get. That's why he cheesing hard. He just wants some meat. But Elam, Elam looked disgusted, bro. Ah. Don't be looking. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. Don't be right here. Oh my god. All right. Cool. <laughs> oh. Oh. Elon comes feeling? the only one that got geeked up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they they're all here. Do you want to give them the little debrief, or you just want to? You can tell who really want her and who really don't want her. He he probably looking at Melly like, what did you? He disappointed, bruh. Say who you picked. Um, I guess I can debrief a little bit. Okay. Um, so number one, that's um Ali. Yes, sorry. I'm that name. Good. Uh I feel like you were super cool. Like you could like I thought you were the only one who like I guess initiated questions, like when I was like a little nervous, like you were like, oh, so what's this and that? Like, um, I thought you would bring me on my show. So that was cool. Um, number two, um, I fucked with your vibe, like super chill, super like. Elam don't want to be there no more, bro. Elam does not want to be there anymore. Look, look at the respect. He actually is engaged. This is something he wants. That's why he's looking at it, right? Elam. Elam is checked out, bro. But this is this proves that appearance matters more than everything than else. The person themselves, because all that, all that. She's, she's charming. charming. She's charming. Oh. So demure. He he done, bro. Like just like lay back, like <laughs> and, and just like you know, like <laughs> it's whatever. Like I'm I'm, I'm kind of similar, so um, I feel like we connect on like that chill aspect. <laughs> he look like y'all know. <laughs> Yeah, all my dog owners. You know that moment when you when you raise your voice at your dog and, and your dog start like, the dog start looking at looking for other people to come get you out of the situation. Um, number three, it it just was a no for me. <laughs> like <laughs> I feel like you're yeah, where, you at, where you're at in your life right now. I'm just not there. So it. I'm not even gonna waste your time. Um, for <laughs> did you have the sex to me? <laughs> <laughs> so he shook his head. You wasn't gonna get no kids out oh, of me. I don't know. I feel like because you mentioned, and then we said we would ask. You mentioned the protection aspect. Yeah. 
What are you protecting yourself from if you're if you're using protection? Like why get a vasectomy if like if you're using protection and you're and you're having safe sex? What like is the issue? Getting the vasectomy is safe sex. Because um. I prevent women. Let's say you accidentally get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now you're stuck with the decision if you have to get an abortion or not because you're not ready because you have an exam tomorrow. But I'm on birth control, so I wouldn't. Oh, well, that's a whole different conversation. You as a nurse <laughs> knows what birth control does to your estrogen and progesterone levels, and you know yeah. ultimately that is Yep, here he goes. He teed up. Matter of fact, but this is this is where he actually be. I can't disagree with him on these takes right here because Dr. Elam do be knowing what he talking about. Birth control messed me up, bro. Yeah, it messed me up bad. <laughs> yeah, birth control did a lot of damage to Alex, so that's why we don't we don't rock with birth control. I, hey man, but uh, freaking Doctor Elam do be right though, because this this birth control does do do a lot of damage to y'all females, and y'all don't be noticing it. Knows what birth control does to your estrogen and progesterone levels, and you know yeah. that it's not very good for you. So I would encourage you to get off so you can get on a regular cycle, protect your body, and be as healthy as you can. But you don't want kids anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> he want to say so much. The thing about the safety was more, okay, you get a mastectomy, so it's like you're cool with the kids. You're not going to have that. But in her mind, that makes her feel like, okay, so... That means you don't use condoms. Yeah, we can go get tested together, babe. Don't worry about that. I'm clean, but yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so would you like he, to? He missed. He awesome. missed what he's saying. She. He missing it because she's saying, now that you know, you don't have to worry about pulling out because you can't get the girl pregnant. That don't mean like that. That don't mean you can still just be raw dogging. Like you still need to have a condom on because you can still get. You can, you can still, still catch, catch something. something. Yeah, and course. that's why she's saying, because you have that extra layer of protection, you feel like you don't need to do the standard protection. Mm. Pick. <laughs> Who are you picking? Um, I feel like... <laughs> she's going to pick Elam, bro. I'm probably going to pick number two. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Number two don't want her. <laughs> so this is Mitch. Hi. Well, I feel like we all should have numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm number Just a four. lot of names. Yes, that's okay. number so two. one, two, three, four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, how are you feel? So, this is Mitch. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mitch. How tall are you? Pleasure. Six feet. Okay. We good with that? Um, I think we all like. Should we stand up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, stand, stand up. up. Stand up. Oh, Dan, now we stand uh, up. Uh, <laughs> Should you stand up as well? Yeah. Okay. How tall are you? 5'11". Okay. Mm -hmm. Dang! Yeah. Okay. okay. Whoa! All right. You guys like what you see? Oh, no, you're beautiful. <laughs> we don't want to objectify you, but yeah. Like oh, you see? Yeah, I like what I see. Yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah, you look good. I don't want to objectify you. <laughs> Get canceled. <laughs> I don't want to object yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. And you already told me no, so. You know, <laughs> <That's> it. It. <laughs> you okay, it. well, there's a, still one more chance. Who knows? I don't know. What? So this is the, the pineapple. So if you are cool with who you pick, you keep the pineapple with me. If you want to switch, <laughs> swap, whatever, you give the pineapple to Mitch, and then you pick somebody else. Mm. Interesting. Um, what you got? <laughs> Damn. Okay, so, so, so you want to switch? Um, me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I know. Look at us. But I feel like we are exactly. This is okay, so cringy. Cool. If I did do that, it would be fucked up because then it's like. Don't worry about our feelings. We'll yeah, right. fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, My feelings already do. hurt. So. <laughs> 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 My feelings no, are hurt, good. too. It's all good. All of our feelings are already hurt, so I it can't get worse. I respect your honesty. Yeah. <laughs> I just, we're just not there. No, I agree. I agree. <laughs> You're cool, though. Thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> do you want it? Oh, you want it. <clears throat> okay. Who do you think she's going to pick? Sorry. It's either Ali or Elam. <laughs> and who are you picking? For what the? Uh, what? Uh, I told you. <laughs> Dang. She picked. How did you fall for she that? She picked because his height. Oh my god. She picked him because his height. Even though he did he she see this is why, bro. This height stuff is stupid, bro. Because look, they're all above average height men. 
and she was more compatible with him, right? But because he's tall, she's willing to ignore the compatibility and pick him. And now I don't think this is going to go the way she thinks it's going to go. Because she picked, she picked the one person who don't want her. Because we stood up. But now, I really wanted to pick you. I really did. You're really cool. Like, so who are you picking? Don't trip. You can't oh, pick okay. us all. No, me. she picked you. If I'm no, because I had a really cool conversation. See, I had a conversation. With you. <laughs> I was in between. Are you about you that life? You good. I really was, but I feel like. If I was 6'6", six, six, we'd be out the door. Don't be <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's very shallow. That's okay, so um, the part that you don't know is that the last decision is on the guy. Okay. So since now you picked Ilam, Ilam, mm -hmm. would you like to go on a date with Jillian? <laughs> you know, you made it really hard for me. <laughs> it's, okay. It's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Life is hard. It is hard. Yeah. But what you going to do with me? Mm. What are you gonna do with me? Oh, <laughs> nothing. Because he's not taking you. I'm gonna do with you. Ooh. I'm a host. Go get tested. Go get tested. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's gonna get tested together. Mm -hmm. I'll Amen. protect you. I'll hold space for you. Okay. I will help you grow into the beautiful, wonderful healer that you can be, that you need to be for your patients. Mm -hmm. I can get that <laughs> implant that you need. <laughs> oh. Okay. oh my God! I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh. You don't see me. Okay. Let's okay. set it up now. I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would love to go on a date and learn more about you and see where things can go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, good. All right, so I guess we got a match. But Mitch, you were dope. <laughs> you were dope. You guys all were really. I, I, yeah, these are. Yeah, you guys were really cool. Yeah, so. yeah tell them about y'all cousins. Like because yeah. I know thing, this is what do. I'd love me to talk to you regardless. Yeah. All right, so you can take her and leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can. Okay. Get up. Come you on. Will, okay. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, good. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. Go on that day. Go get tested. Go get tested. Go get tested. Where's the other women? We're going to get tested, right? Yeah, the women. Right now. All right. I'm gonna keep it a band with you. Uh, that relationship is not gonna. I don't. I personally believe it's not gonna work. Cause one, Elam. He do stuff for show. He do stuff for show. Uh, he has a type, and that girl was not his type. And we can, and I know y'all gonna say, how y'all gonna sue? He has a type. <laughs> he has a type. <laughs> we have watched enough of his content to know he has a type, and she was not the type that he he go for. That was that was cringy. Yeah. That was very hard to watch. That yeah, that was and to to know that she abandoned the fact that she wants kids and he got a vasectomy and he wants to practice polygamy. And all these things that didn't line up with her, that he doesn't use condoms, he has un unprotected sex because he has the vasectomy. She threw all that out the door because he's 6'6". Six, six. That's pathetic. Y'all got to stop doing that. Yeah, that is. I ain't going to lie. You abandoned your morals. For height. That's so, You abandoned the things that you... Obvious red flags because he's 6'6". Six, six. And then you people wonder why they end up in these situations... And they just like, where did I go wrong? You abandon your morals and your standards that you set out for yourself. So, hey, for her sake, I hope they'd work out. I really do. Because at the end of the day, love is love. But uh, the, the blood is in the water and the sharks is definitely swimming around. All right, y'all. Peace.